All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over a problem with the photoelectric effect. Problem says, what color of light will have enough energy to eject an electron that's gonna form a cation from the surface of cesium metal? And so uh, E equals H nu, that's given to us. And we're also given the work function of uh, cesium. It's 3.43 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. That's the minimum energy needed to remove one electron. So uh, basically we're gonna have to figure out what wavelength of light that corresponds to color uh, is equal to this work function energy. That'll be the minimum uh, energy light that we need to shine to inject an electron. And uh, then once we have the wavelength, we'll, we'll correspond it to a, a color using this uh, diagram. All right, so let me uh, change where we're looking here to the whiteboard. And so, uh, if we think about what we have here, we have um, E equals H nu, okay? And what are we given? We're given energy, so we're given E, and we're told that that's 3.43 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. Planck's constant is H, that's always given to us. Uh, that's 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. And we don't know the frequency. So that's the one thing that's unknown. So we can now solve, okay? And we're gonna be dividing these. Right, so let me just write that out. So this is when 3.43 times 10 to the minus 19. Uh, divided by Planck's constant. Okay, and if we enter that into our calculator. We get Uh, 5.178 5.178 times 10 to the 11 and the units are going to be inverse seconds. Why is it inverse seconds? Well, joules cancels with joules and we're left with the seconds on the bottom. So that's a unit that's also called hertz. Uh, we'll go over that in a little bit, but it's basically one divided by second. It's also called hertz. Okay. So that's great. And now we have to use another uh, formula that's also given to you, which is lambda, the wavelength, times the frequency uh, equals the speed of light, okay? And so we want lambda, which is the wavelength. It's gonna be speed of light divided by frequency. And so that's speed of light's always about 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Again, a constant given to you divided by the uh, frequency that we just calculated of the light. Okay, and that's in seconds inverse. So again, if we look at the units here, uh, no, that's not right. What's gonna cancel is gonna be seconds inverse, right? Divide by seconds and divide by seconds. So we're gonna be left with meters. And so that comes out to three times 10 to the eighth, divided by 5.17 times 10 to the 11th. That comes out to 5.80 times 10 to the minus seventh meters, okay? Uh, we want it in man nanometers because our chart, our color chart is given to us in nanometers. So we know from our SI prefixes that uh, for every one meter, there are 10 to the ninth, a billion nanometers. Nano means a billionth. And so that ends up being 580 nanometers. Meters cancel, okay? So 580 nanometers is our final answer. If we look on our chart, that's going to be yellow light, okay? And so that's pretty much it for uh, 
this problem.